The Bibb County Board of Education is making a change this new year. Dr. Steve Smith will no longer be the interim superintendent. Instead, taking his place is Dr. Kelly Castlin Guy Kooten. 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez introduces us to the new interim superintendent and shares her plans for the remainder of the school year. She's no stranger to the school system. I've been here in the school district for the past two and a half years uh, where I've served as deputy superintendent of school operations. And that's just the beginning of Dr. Kelly Castling Guy Kooten's resume. I've been a classroom teacher, uh, assistant principal, principal, central office administrator, uh, university professor and director, and now I'm here. Dr. Guy Kooten will take office as the next Bibb County interim superintendent on January 1st. From the very beginning, I have felt like this is home. She's beginning her role in the middle of the school year, but that doesn't worry her at all. She sees it as an opportunity to continue the great work of former interim superintendent, Dr. Steve Smith. That's exciting to me that we can continue the work that has already uh, been laid out for us. Now, I do recognize that there is new work. Dr. Guy Kooten plans to focus on a number of issues during her time as interim superintendent. We need to address disciplinary concerns. It is critically important that we improve our graduation rates. But her first order of business is to work with the school board to decide which of the three operational systems is best for the district. To remain um, status quo, which means we continue to go in the direction that we're currently going in. Or we can look into becoming a charter district or an IE square district. The charter school option would give the schools more self-government with school councils. IE Square focuses on accountability based on student achievement at each school. We have to look at what the benefits will be for our school district in selecting one system or the other. Dr. Guy Kooten doesn't have a preference on a system yet, but she's ready to work with the board and finish the school year strong. I'm truly humbled and honored to be able to serve. In Macon, Alexa Rodriguez, 41, NBC News. The school board has until June 30th to decide which operational system works best for the Bibb County School District.